I want to welcome you to the show, man. I'm telling you, I'm having a great time today. What? Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Who was that? Was that, was that, was that Mr. Riley? Is that the guy that sings, oh, Sheila? Who? I'm Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you. Okay, guys, this is a music edition. Okay, this is a music edition. And you guys know I love this song. You, oh, you don't know, but I do. I really do. And we have Mr. Melvin Riley on the show. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I was so excited. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, thank you so much. You know, I always like to do this because I don't think that people understand that going after your dreams and your goals is not isolated to one event. It definitely isn't isolated to just one person. What happened? What was that one thing that happened for you guys that made Ready for the World ready for the world? The beauty of it is you never know. Mm. <laughs> Realistically, you do the best that you can do in this life. And you you put yourself out there where you think that you can go ahead and be excelled in a certain direction. Um, I think the magic comes from people that are around you and what God blesses you with, which is this musical talent that you you get into people's minds and heads and ears. And so from there, you got to let it do what it do. Mm, I love that. I love that. So just going after it literally is just like all in all, 100 percent. Yes, you well, you cannot have. I don't know if I can curse on here, but you cannot have. <laughs> go ahead, just go ahead. I mean, you, you cannot have as life. You have to either be wrong at your best or right at your best, mm. and just you take that risk. That is hard for some people. Some people don't want to be wrong, Mr. Riley. They want to be right. Yeah, the world does not revolve around one individual. You have to go ahead and do you, um, put out what you feel is the greatest thing. I always tell my children, do you and let the world catch up. That's it. I think that's it. Cause we're all different, right? We're all pioneers yeah. in our own right. And uh, so Mr. Riley, I want to ask you a few questions, man. I'm telling you, I got you here. What do I do? What do I do? I'm so excited. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you have new music out now too. I mean, Ready for the World is like, oh, Sheila. I mean, that was like the thing for me. I mean, I had the big hair. I did it. I, did it. <laughs> right. I, I was like dancing. Oh, she I was all in it. I was all in it. It's but about... now music has changed. The music industry has changed. Has, How yeah. has that changed the way you go about doing what you do today? Well, I'm a prioritizer. I believe that you prioritize what's important. Everything can change around you, but you have to have what you believe in. And I believe in great music. I believe in great music first. Get in that studio, create the best music, because that's why we're here now. Mm -hmm. So never forget about what the purpose is of why or what you're doing. So let the world change, whatever it does. Can you create great music in the midst of it all? And that's why I'm still here. Yes, wonderful, wonderful. So what is the great music that we're talking about today? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Well, we first, <laughs> the first single is called Sugar Daddy. Mm. If you're not singing about interesting things, to me, it just kind of flies through the ear as you're driving. Mm -hmm. If you can sing about something that's interesting, that has a great hook, a great melody, that's what people gravitate to. Um, I grew up in Michigan, but I was born in Clarksdale, Mississippi, mm -hmm. where the blues was born. Ah. And I would go back and forth from Mississippi, Marks, Mississippi, Clarksdale, Mississippi, uh, every summer. And I grew up on the blues. And the blues always had a great hook, something to talk about. Yeah. And I think that's pretty much where I, uh, I began my storytelling. Yeah, uh, you, you, you got to be singing about something. You got to pique people's interest. When they're playing spades and tonk, say something that's going to jar their attention that's relevant to what's really going on. And that's what that's the way I've always been. Wow. And Sugar Daddy, what what is Sugar Daddy about? You know, for the last 25 years, there has been derogatory type of conversation towards women. Mm -hmm. um, and I understand it in the rap world and this, that, and the other. When we gonna get back to 
taking care of our responsibility as men and when are we going to get back to treating women like they are the precious and i'm not even kissing up i'm just being real i i do no, I, I agree with you i, I totally mean, agree with you what else on earth is more beautiful than a woman what on earth is more and i'm just one of those guys that said hey you know i'm getting older and older guys get older <laughs> <laughs> and let me just take care of you and i'm not saying that in the sense of using me i'm saying that if you're going through something and i'm your guy let me be something to you and as an older guy you know let me be your sugar daddy i like that i actually i love that yeah i mean <laughs> if, if, if she's going through something and you have the ability to help her out and be like listen baby i understand what it is and i got it so there yeah. you go. Now I come from the old school, so we believe in celebrating women as opposed mm -hmm. to being derogatory. That's where I come from. So yes. Sugar Daddy is one of those songs that's just saying, "Hey, listen, you got a problem? Let me, if I can handle it, let me take care of it." Yeah, you know, and and uh, you know, women won't say this out loud. You know, there are women that go after their dreams and their goals, and that's great. You know, I'm a woman. I'm a professional woman. I like to go after my dreams and my goals. But there are times where you know, my husband will come up to me, hey, you okay? Right. Let's go sit down in the front room. Let's talk about it. Let's see what we can do about it. Let me help you with this. That's what I'm talking and, about. And, um, you know, I've been, I've been blessed. Mm. I've had that happen to me more than once on many yeah. occasions. And, I, and, I, and I, I think the only reason that I'm doing what I'm doing is because I have that. That foundational that's guy right. that's, that's mm -hmm. got your back. That foundational guy that has your back, loves you enough to treat you like the beautiful woman that you are. Mm -hmm. That's what we got to get back to. Yes, yes. And I love that, Mr. Riley. I love that. I love the fact that you're writing about that and that you're bringing that to light. You know, um, women birthed men. There's not one man that has not come from a woman that's all i'm saying <laughs> and when I mean, men, well, yeah when, when men treat women like nothing so you jump out the womb and now you yeah uh-uh that's not that's not the respect that exactly. I don't think god intended man to 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 act like i know that there has been a change in the guard as far as the younger guys coming up in the, in the 90s and mm -hmm men express themselves in a different way when blah 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 but come on now yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i totally totally agree with more that you know women I, I, all women you know even even the women that are going through ups and downs and tribulations appreciate the help yes and and, and sometimes because we don't get it it drives us mad and crazy yeah. Um, if we did have it, if we did have that love and it's psychologically proven that when a husband or a son or even a daughter um, hugs their parents, they live longer and happier and healthier. It yeah. is actually scientifically proven. So what you're doing is you're doing a, a virtual hug for us, which I appreciate with your oh, song, Sugar Daddy. Thank, thank you. you so much. That's real good. I like that. Mm. I like that. You and can it's use not, that. You can use that. Go ahead. I, I, I have to use it. And, it, and it's not even. And it's not even about using a man in that way. Right. It's like, no, it's you, not. It's about a man loving you enough. Say, wait, wait. Like you said, your husband sits down and like, wait, what's wrong? Can I remedy your situation? Mm. And really, that's what Sugar Daddy is about. That's right. That's right. Well, thank you so very much for being on the show. People can get you, and I'm going to go ahead and put your your QR code for your website. You guys have been looking at the website and it's up in the corner. So the QR code for the website is going to be right there up top. So you can see it. You can go ahead and just put your phone up there and your camera and your photo and it'll click on the screen on your phone and it'll take you straight there. Also, we're going to have it in the description box below. So that way, you know, you guys can actually see it and obtain the, the song because we do not play the song here because it doesn't give them credit when I do that. We can't do that. OK, you got to go ahead and go to the website and we again will be linking that up. Mr. Riley, what kind of advice do you give to people when, you know, when they are like, ah, oh, man, I really want to be like you. You know, I'm 
I mean, I don't know if you can be like Mr. Riley, but what can Mr. Riley say for you to encourage you to go after your dreams? Like I said, be you. You know, you have to be you because there are like different colors in the world. Purple can't be mad at yellow. Yellow can't be mad at red. Red can't be mad at black. And I believe that's the way God intended is to be a combination of different things. Be you. And hopefully, you know, you have enough common sense to know, <laughs> you know, not to be. How can I put this? Have a sense of who you are. Yeah. And be the best at that. And everybody may not get you, but how can any how can music move forward if everybody wants to stay in the same place as everybody else? Be you, do you. Mm -hmm. You know, create a music or a sound that blows you away. When you blow you away, maybe the world will be blown away too. Wow. Yep. Be you, create you. And let the world catch up. I love it. I love it. I love it. Absolutely love it. Thank you so much for being on the show. I totally appreciate it. And you know you can come back anytime. You got new music? I'm right here. I'm honored. I appreciate <laughs> you having me. You got that swag. And y'all, I hope y'all know this young lady got a voice right here. I just, I, I heard it from the beginning. You know, I'm just doing the interview. And then she started singing. I'm like, whoa. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, indeed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank uh -huh. you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to dare to be different. And again, the website is right there as well as in the description box. And if you're watching somewhere where there is no description box, just go ahead and go to I am Melvin Riley.com. I am Melvin Riley.com. And you will get the music and all the other things that go with it. And just a beautiful dedication to women all over the world. Thank oh. you guys so much. And until next time, guys, don't forget to dare to be different. Bye. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Um, question. Do you mind doing a shout out? Not at all. Okay. So I always tell people, make sure you're advertising your new song. And oh. you can just say after everything, and I'm here with Yaya Diamond, and that's good for me. I'm going to mute myself, and I'm going to take myself out of the picture, okay? I'm ready whenever you are. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Melvin Riley from Ready for the World. I'm with my girl, Yaya Diamond. This is my new single, Sugar Daddy. <laughs>